I'm gonna be trapped inside of VR Minecraft until I beat the Ender Dragon. How long will it take me to beat the game? Let's find out. For the first few minutes, I just stood there and soaked in the world around me. <gasps> Yo, this is sick. When suddenly, I remember something very important. When I was a kid, I built the most epic base the world has ever seen. An impenetrable fortress. A place that I'm calling... The Crab. Which stands for cool, really awesome base. Before I could get started on building, I needed to find the perfect location. After some searching, I had found the perfect place to build. A flat bit of land with desert on either side, and a body of water not too far off. Now it was time for me to build the world's most epic base in a quick building montage. But I just finished my house, and I haven't fully looked at it yet. We're gonna see it all together on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Finally, my masterpiece, the crab. Now that the base was done, my job was complete, and it was time for me to leave in search of a village, because I was getting kinda lonely. Surprisingly, I spawned right next to one, so I found it right away. Wait, a village! I found one! When I finally arrived at the village, I found all the friends I could ever want, but more importantly, I found her. We instantly hit it off, so I decided to ask her if she would marry me. Ever since I laid my eyes on you, those big, green, beautiful eyes, I just knew that you were the one for me. And um, I know this is, I know this is, this is very, this is very soon, but will you, will you marry me? I'll only marry you if you slay the Ender Dragon. My brother went off to slay it years ago and has never returned. He must be avenged. I was now in a little bit of a predicament. If I slayed the Ender Dragon, I could get married to the villager of my dreams. But my original goal was to slay the Ender Dragon so I could leave this virtual world. What was the right choice? If I stayed, I had all the friends I could ever ask for, an upcoming marriage, and my dream property. But I would never see my real family again. For now, these questions were gonna have to wait. It was time for the nether. Alright, it's time. It's time to go to the nether. This is one small step for man. One giant leap for Minecraft kind. When I first stepped through the portal, I realized that I spawned right next to a bastion, which was super rare. Not only that, but I'd also gotten super lucky and spawned close to the nether fortress. The reason why it's good to spawn close to a nether fortress is because that's where you find these guys, which drop these, which you use to make this, which takes you there. So after collecting more than enough blaze rods, it was time for me to go home. When I got back to the village, I decided that it was time to get my soon to be wife a name tag so she could finally have an official name. If you didn't already know, name tags are items that can be used to give villagers names. But the problem is, they're extremely rare and can only be obtained in two different ways. The first way to obtain a name tag is by finding one in a chest in a structure, like a mineshaft, woodland mansion, or dungeon. The second is by fishing. The problem is, you only have a 0.8% chance to get a name tag from fishing. That means, on average, it would take me around 125 attempts to get. Wanting to avoid potentially spending hours on fishing, I decided to check the mineshaft that was super close to the village, praying to find a name tag inside. Please have a name tag. <gasps> there is, there's a, there's a golden apple and a name tag. Thankfully, luck was on my side, and in the one chest I could find in the entire mine shaft, I found a name tag. And now that I had this priceless artifact, I could finally give my soon-to-be wife an official name. The only problem was, I hadn't exactly thought of a name for her. And then, it dawned on me. What is the fairest, most beautiful name that a princess, no, a queen like her would suit? With this priceless name tag in hand, I could finally bestow my future wife with her beautifully fitting name. After giving my soon to be wife her name, it was time to head off to face my biggest and final challenge yet, the Ender Dragon. In order to fight the Ender Dragon, you need to go to the end. And in order to go to the end, you need to find the stronghold, which you can locate by throwing eyes of Ender, like this. Eventually, I'd managed to find the stronghold, so I set my spawn beside the portal, placed in the eyes, prepared for the most epic battle of my life. Okay, I think I'm ready for the final, final, final fight. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Nice. Oh, 
Let's go! Oh, and just like that, I had done it. I had finally beaten the Ender Dragon, collected the egg, and fulfilled my destiny. When I returned to the village, I was celebrated like a hero. But more importantly, it was time for my wedding. Gruntilda, I love you so much. And as this token of my appreciation to you, the one and only dragon egg. I don't really know how weddings work, so uh, I guess we're married now. This was the happiest day of my life. And it was at this moment that I decided that I would live in Minecraft forever. You know what, on second thought, I'm kind of hungry. I think, I think I'm gonna go get a sandwich, honestly. Like, screw Minecraft.